on the oil pickup tube, if you have a hole anywhere in it, bad weld or, or whatever, they can suck air and you won't get good oil pressure or may, maybe none. Also, the oil pickup tube uses an O-ring on it to seal. If that O-ring is not there, it's not going to be able to uh, pull a prime on the oil pump and you're going to have a big oiling problem. If anything makes its way through the, the screen, a piece of debris, a, a wire clip off of a uh, lifter, anyway, if it makes it up into the pump, it can jam the gears, okay? If it jams the gears, what generally happens is the distributor gear, which drive, you know, the distributor and its gear drive the shaft, it usually rips the teeth off the distributor gear, okay? Uh, another another item that uh, can happen now and then is the pressure relief valve can get stuck uh, in, in the open position, which bleeds off some oil pressure, but you will still have oil pressure when you rev it up. So it uh, depends on what kind of oiling problem you have. Uh, you know, if it, if it won't pick up any prime, it usually has to do with the, the pickup tube or the pump not being uh, lubed up good when it put on there, or if the housing is really tore up, this one's got a bunch of scratches, which means sometimes they have a hard time picking the oil, oil up because it's not sealing good there. Uh, uh, they even scratched up, they'll make some pressure though. Your oil galleys, if you replace the plugs, you have to make sure you stake them because uh, at oil pressure, if the plug's too loose, it can blow them out of there. The galley that gets gets fed first, the oil pump will be down here, and then and then this whole oil galley gets fed, and there's a crossover right here that connects the left and right oil galley. Okay, and it, and it fills both of them. And then your oil pressure sending unit is back here, connected to the one on the driver's side. Which this is the last spot to get oil on the, on the, in the oil galleys. So it's the perfect place for the oil sending unit to be. Um, along the way of oiling the mains and the rods, if you look down in the holes here, you're going to see that the lifter bores intersect the oil galley. You're going to see a little little slot or a hole, and they're going to vary in size. But this is where your lifters get get their oil, and uh, you see the ring around the uh, the lifter. The oil goes around there, and there's an oil hole in it, and it fills the lifter up, and then oil comes out of the top of the lifter, up the push rod, to the rocker arm, and uh, it's completed its journey. The plugs that go in these passages have to be staked so they can't blow out, okay? Now, uh, another issue that we, we run into now and then, we'll get, we'll get someone call up and say everything was fine and all of a sudden it totally lost oil pressure. Well, the most common cause of that is if you broke something in the, dra in the, in the valve train, push rod, rocker arm, valve spring, whatever, and the push rod came off of the lifter and the lifter got kicked up above the oil hole in the galley you will just lose all your oil pressure right then now one of the, the, the saving graces for the main bearings and we'll see this quite often if you jump a lifter out it doesn't mean that you're not getting any oil to the crank but uh, because the oil holes are in the bottom of the oil galley that are feeding the crank. So you're just not getting any pressure, just you're getting some oil dribbling down in there. That, that helps, them, helps them live for a bit anyway until you get it rectified. So if the lifter jumps up above the hole, you're going to dump your oil pressure. I know it's, we, have, we find it hard for a lot of people to believe that that's just happened. You know, they try to blame it on other, other things, but uh, that's generally what, what it is.
as you can see there's a cam lobe and it's going to push up on the lifter and like I say if it if push rod comes loose it's just going to jump out a lot of times they don't jump out of the hole so if you if you broke a push rod or bent one or whatever <clears throat> a lot of times you can if you can get the push rod out of the way you can just reach down there and poke it back down in the hole and replace whatever you broke and you're good to go again so anyway that's the main issues that you can have with a with an oiling system but in general it's one of the most straightforward oiling systems of any motor i've seen Thank you.